my name is Darren Slim. I have a company in America and I just did the M phase and I have to say it's been a journey with my Bell's palsy and you know I feel a lot more confident after the fourth session. I talk much more normally and it's very important for my field to look the best because managing talents and meeting all these influencers and major record labels day to day, I need to present myself well and also market myself really well to get campaigns from all the major labels. Hi Darren, when did you realize you have Bell's palsy? I realized I had Bell's palsy back in January 2021 when I was quarantined in America. <laughs> this was early January when I woke up one morning and my left side of the face was just not moving anymore. After I washed my face, I looked in the mirror and when I tried to blink, only my right side was blinking and my left side could not blink. So, and my left lip was drooping. So I thought I had a stroke. I got really scared and like I drove straight to my primary physician and she diagnosed me with Bell's palsy. And I didn't know what Bell's palsy was because I never heard of it. And she said it a condition where the bacteria attacks the cranial nerve, which is the nerve that controls your facial muscles. So unfortunately, my left cranial nerve was inflamed and she prescribed like steroids to treat the inflammation. And that's kind of about it. I couldn't drink water properly. So I tried eating and my left side was, was so weak that food would just drop out of my mouth while I'm eating. And when I'm drinking water, I can't press my lips all the way when I'm drinking from the bottle. So it leaks on the left side and I couldn't pronounce words properly because my left side was not working at all. So it was just hard to communicate with my friend and I felt so self-conscious when I'm talking to my friend or to anybody or even to my co-workers for work. And you know, like looking uneven, like I'm drooping, I, I had to wear a mask. And even though I wear a mask, I still feel very self-conscious of how I talk to people. The worst thing is that I had to put an, an eye patch over my left eye because I can't close my left eye while I'm sleeping. So I had to put a patch here and leave it on while, when I go to sleep. If not, if, I, if it's open, there'll be dirt and dust going in and I'll get an infection from that. That's my, my daily struggle for like... For how long was this struggle? I think like six months when I can, I can close my eye properly and chew better. But it's still not 100%. So you still would have food leaking despite the fact that it's six months later? Correct, yeah. Uh, so what are the treatments that you've tried? In America, the first thing that came to mind was acupuncture because, you know, my brother is very like, you should try acupuncture because like, Chinese medicine would be the best. Because, you know, like the steroids from the doctor recommended me gave me only treats the inflammation. So I tried the acupuncture and I went twice a week for six months and they even like made this special herb tea that you drink every day for a month. Very bitter, but it helped a little bit. Like uh, my face got even, but not as even as I wanted to be. And the strength is also not 100%. That was like from January to July. And then I kind of gave up hope and for a few months. And then I think by August, I asked my friend who's a doctor, I was like, I want fillers, I want fillers done because I'm tired of looking uneven. And she told me to hold off for like a month because there's these two new machines called the Tri-Lift and M-Face that's going to come out in August 2021 when I was still in America. September comes around, I bought the Tri-Lift package and I did it in November. It's a machine where it's like a handheld machine where it contracts the muscles while it moves on your face. And I saw the before and after pictures from my first session, third session, it was like some changes, but not a drastic change as I want to look as well. So do you still wear the eye patch to sleep? The eye patch, I stopped because acupuncture did help with, with closing the eyes, but the chewing and the water is still there. Also when I chew my, on my left side, my left eye uncontrollably like closes by itself so it feels weird so i'm just chewing most on the right side for the longest time <laughs> how did you find out about m face and mendes 
I came to Singapore in January 14 to visit my mom and dad. I haven't seen them since COVID time. It's been three years. My good friend Jonathan, he actually recommended me to come to see Dr. Rohan for treatment. My mind, I thought M-Faith wouldn't work because trials didn't work for me. So I didn't really think about M-Faith. I thought about maybe just want to tighten my skin so it looks more even. So I was like, maybe I can do high food or something. I didn't even know the doctor had M-Faith here until I walked around, I saw the poster outside, he has M-Face. So I was like, okay, why not? I can ask him about M-Face and see if it will work for me. So my initial purpose for M-Face was aesthetic-wise. And so after we did the first session, he showed me a before and after. After one session with the M-Face, there was more improvement than six months of acupuncture and also three sessions of the tri-lift, which was very shocking to me. And after the first session, I do realize that I could pronounce better because there's more strength on my left lip, cheek, and also my left eye. When I chew on the left side, it doesn't close by itself anymore. I can actually control it. So you've got more control of your left muscles on your left cheek. Correct. My left face in general, yeah. So I must say that M face must have improved your quality of life. Yeah, I think the past 10 days that I've been coming here to do the sessions, it has improved drastically. So I'm able to feel sensation on my left cheek now, which is amazing. Cause the first session was, I felt something, but not a lot. The second, something as well. And then today, after doing the fourth session, is the tingling sensation is there. Like it's, it's still there, which is very shocking to me. I'm actually very happy. <laughs> You've not felt that tingling session for the longest time? Yeah, for about almost two years. <laughs> okay, so I can imagine, you know, the elation that you're having, you know, you're experiencing now that you feel a lot more normal? Yes, I do feel more normal and I feel less self-conscious around people now. Amphis has brought back your confidence? It has brought back my confidence. I don't look in the mirror and like, oh, I'm not normal. I actually, there's the hope in me that going to Amphis regularly will like help me get back to 100%. So how do you feel like, just now you said, you know, after acupuncture and after tri if you only felt like 20% from your mm. very down, where do you feel you are now? I think after my fourth session with Elvis, I think I'm like maybe at the 40% with my muscles because it's so much easier, to, like talking to you right now, it's so much easier. I'm not straining my left face as much. If you didn't tell me, I really wouldn't know you have a condition <laughs> or you had a condition, you know, that's how I feel about it. You know, yes. but only thing I saw was that your before picture. But then, you know, seeing you with such a long runway, I was like, wow, this young gentleman has got Bell's palsy. I can't imagine. I know it's very uncommon for cases like me because I looked it up online and most cases, like maybe 80 to 85 percent, it goes away after three weeks at most six months a year. And it's been two years for me and I'm unfortunately at one of those cases very lucky cases. <laughs> I think you've brought a lot of hope to other patients and how likely are you to recommend m -face? I would definitely recommend it 100% to patients who are like me who still has Bell's palsy after two years because it really brought hope in me. I feel so much happier and I feel much more confident in myself and I would just want them to know don't lose hope in yourself. There is something out there for us. <laughs> Dr. Mendes, why did you recommend m -face to Darren's? When Darren's first presented, I realized he was having residual effects on the left side of his face two years post Bell's palsy. Now with this technology, we were able to literally stimulate his facial muscles, the front ellis, as well as the sigmaticus major and minor and the rhizorius, which were the muscles for the left side of his smile. Um, and I felt that this would really balance his appearance. With that, you know, you've tried m -Faith. How do you find the results? Extremely encouraging. Even after the first session, when I did the before and after photographs, I realized that he had a much more even and balanced appearance. And uh, I realized that his speech was sounding a little bit better. Dr. Mendes, what are the advantages of m -Faith over conventional methods of lifting? Right, for the past 20 years, I've been using a lot of non-invasive li lifting. And basically, most of these technologies use devices that stimulate collagen and elastin. Uh, in other words, mainly targeting the skin. 
This new technology is revolutionary because it targets both muscle and skin. And that's the big difference. Dr. Mendes, would you recommend Emphase to other Bell's palsy patients? I definitely would. The main reason is because you could do serial lifting. You could actually focus more on the affected side. And with this technology, we can actually put 100%, let's say, of lift for the frontalis and the zygomaticus major and minor on the left, and maybe 50% on the right, if let's say the patient has the affected side on the left, and you will see benefits to that patient fairly immediately. Wow. So this is something that, you know, it's quite unconventional and uh, it's something really very different? I won't say it's really unconventional because for long-term Bell's palsy users, what is recommended is physical therapy, facial exercise, connective tissue, massage. If you ask me, this technology does everything. It even warms up the tissue and increases the circulation. So definitely something that is in line with what is recommended, but definitely you have a technology that can do everything. Uh, thank you, Dr. Mendes. Most welcome.